Hey everybody and welcome to my solo base design video. If you enjoy it, please hit that like button down below, it would really help me out a lot. And only around 1% of anybody who watches my videos are subscribed, so if you could subscribe that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you and I hope you all enjoy the video. So the first thing you want to do is place a low foundation followed with a high. Around this you want to place three triangles, just like so. You can fill this in with walls now. Wall frame right there and make sure to upgrade it. As soon as you're done with that, upgrade everything. And you can just fill in the walls right there as well. Place the ceiling right there and upgrade it. And then just follow it with filling and what's necessary. And along with the floors on top to seal everything up. After that, you can just place a double door. Next, you want to place your TC. Make sure it is as flush to the wall as possible, as it helps with box space later. Next, I'm going to place the first box, so I'm just going to come down here and make it as flush with the wall as possible. Just like so. And then I'm just going to add the essentials, like a sleeping bag and a furnace. After that's done, once you get enough resources, you can start upgrading again. So first place two walls just like so and upgrade them Then you want to grab your furnace that you got earlier and place it down This furnace will act as a jump up and it'll allow you to get to the roof where later you can then Add just a twig half wall don't upgrade it yet It's merely just for jumping up to the roof until you get enough resources Okay, upgrade that triangle and place a new one so you can jump up easier and then I'm going to be going on to making an airlock right here, which is going to help you from getting raided by door camper. And there you go. That's the basic essentials for the beginning of the base. So from here, we're just going to keep going on and upgrading. First, place walls all around here and box yourself in. And after that's done, you want to demolish that half wall and just place a doorway right there. And you can just have a little bit of jump up right after you finish off this airlock by placing one triangle outwards. And then you can just fill in that wall and upgrade it. Place another furnace for a jump up or you guys can place a ladder as well. But then you get less furnaces and you know ladder isn't usually a BP that you get so it might be hard to come by. But after that you just want to place the doors and upgrade all these walls. And then just place the ceiling, just like so, and upgrade. I'm just going to be filling in boxes, so first place that box right there. And if you did it right, you should be able to place that one as well. Now I'm going to do above the TC, so first one box in that corner. After that first box is placed, place the second one. As flush as you can with the box, just like so. And then after that, you just want to place that box as well. Now, you can also add a small box right in the middle. should just fit. And then you all also know that you did everything right. Next, I'm going to start upgrading everything in the base. So, I'm going to place a Tier 2 instead of a Tier 1. And place a box for just more space, because you can never go wrong with more space. And a small box underneath the Tier 2. Next, I'm going to put a barbecue. After that's done, I'm going to be going upstairs and just placing garage doors to upgrade all the doors around the base. I recommend doing this as soon as possible so you don't have to pick up as many things later. I'm going to throw a code box on those and then place the research table. So I'll be placing one box underneath the research table and then one box right next to it. You might have to upgrade this double door frame to sheet because sometimes you won't be able to place the box. Next I'm going to be placing two furnaces just like so and a repair bench with two boxes under it followed with a bed now you don't have to place the bed here I know it's not a BP so if you want to place more boxes that's fine this is pretty much open to what anybody wants to do here I'm gonna head back downstairs here and show you one last bit that will add more box space to your TC room place a wall foundation and twig just like so don't upgrade it then you can go back inside and place this triangle. Should let you, and you can just upgrade that to, to whatever you'd like. Next, place the boxes accordingly. So one flush with the corner of the wall. And the next little small box, place right there. With one more small box right here as well. And yeah, 
Next, you want to go back outside and make sure you delete this twig. And yeah, that's pretty much all. There's nothing else to do besides honeycomb, so let's get to that. That's about it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, hit that like button down below and subscribe. It would really help me out a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one.